My quest to bring my home into this decade continues this morning on DIY Danielle. This time I refinished my orange oak stair railing and posts. So I've already been hard at work sanding and staining the railing. And now for the tricky part, I bring in a special guest my sister-in-law, Aubrey. Say hi, Aubrey. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so Aubrey's got a power tool, and that's what we're gonna start with, the Sawzall. And we're going up the stairs. We'll show you what we're chopping off today. Are you excited? I am. We're cutting these, the balls that sit on top of the stair newel post. Uh, insert Chevy Chase Christmas vacation joke here. The new post. Once it's semi flat, we're putting on these stair post caps. These are actually for deck railing, but they work perfectly inside. We're going to paint them out white so it doesn't really matter that they don't match the color of the wood. I'm so scared for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared for me. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like to hear about, you know. All right, that's it for the saw. On to the next step. So here's what I'm ultimately doing. I wanted the knoll posts to be beefier with some molding and some interest rather than just straight down. So we have some cheap half inch MDF here that we cut into three and a half inch pieces. It's a three inch column. So just a half inch extra for the uh, half inch MDF. And we're gonna be attaching it all around the base. We put a thin bead of wood glue on the back and then use the nail gun to attach the MDF. Next up, cutting the cove molding with a miter saw. Take a look at this finished cut. The shortest part of your molding should be the same width as the skinny part of your post. We cut the corners on 45 degree angles for a nice clean joint. Then we nailed the coat building on top of the MDF to cover where the boards meet the existing post. Ugh. Just kidding, I'm fine, I'm fine. Do that. <laughs> we then used decorative chair rail molding for higher up on the post, also cut on 45 degree angles. And for the post caps, we used wood shims to stabilize and level them, then nailed them in. I filled the nail holes with wood filler, sanded it smooth and painted. Here's how it turned out. Total cost, 30 bucks. Compare that to the pre-made null posts that cost over $80 a piece.